Yeah, what's up guys? Here in Louisiana. Check out this ride I'm gonna get on. Yeah, I'd have some fun. Nice. <laughs> Cajun yard dog. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. I two hand in that sucker had my thumb almost bit back, bent back to my hand. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? We're here in Louisiana. About to get on this airboat. It says it's got a 496 on the back, so it should get down pretty good. Hold six people. Posted on my Facebook and was looking for some people to go, and we got these guys right here to show up, so we'll have a full house on the boat. Ready to have some fun? Yeah. Sweet. So this is our guide right here with the Arthur Airboat Tours. Arthur Airboat Tours, but I'm Greg. <laughs> He's Greg, so. Good looking when I'm the <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> so if y'all looking, yeah, huh? <laughs> so if y'all looking for somewhere to go when y'all are down here in Louisiana or New Orleans, we can get it hooked up right here. Just, come on, man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get in the front. I'm the front, huh? Sit on Hold on. Yeah. Sit on this side. I'm gonna tip it over. God, Jess. You ain't have enough, bro. All right, the earmuffs you don't need right away. I got the item up for a little bit. Right before I take off, I tell y'all put them on. And my name is Greg, and I'm your captain today. Starting with you, what's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Jonathan. Jonathan. Benji. Benji, I should remember you. Brad. Brad. Ronnie. Ronnie. Paul. And Paul. <clears throat> so who's all first time on the airboat? Me. Everybody. Besides Benji, <laughs> he's a repeat customer. My first time too, so y'all take it easy. Hey, that's perfect. There, right? Perfect. Louisiana on this airboat, he's gonna go for a ride. Yeah, that 496 right there, baby.
That box-legged thing you see on the marsh to your right, that used to be my house until the hurricane blew the roof off of it. <laughs> nice, huh? <laughs> Looks small from the outside, pretty big on the inside. Four bedroom, two and a half bed, indoor pool, jacuzzi, game room, all that good stuff. And I just put a movie theater up in there, too. <laughs> That's a deer stand. That's what we hunt deer out of. There's white-tailed deer around here. But I deal a lot smaller here than what they are up north because they got a lot more exercise. Because all the land you see on these sides is what they call marshland. It's a real soft mud with the roots of the vegetation that holds it together. And some of it's actually floating land that we call floton. You can walk on it, but when walking on it, you got to feel for your step before you actually take a step. Yeah, from a foot drop to a 15 foot drop. Just depends on the area you're in. Anybody want to go take a walk? Yeah. <laughs> you go we'll first. <laughs> Ladies yes. first. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm a gentleman around here. <laughs> Cypress tree, look up top, they got a dark spot. That's a bald eagle's nest. You see it? Mm -hmm. And then one time it's real rare to see bald eagles around here, but they're on a big comeback now. They got like 12 or so nests that I know of, so they don't tell me more they got out there. Just back here, we have three. And they pretty much migrate like a duck. They fly down around September, they stay down here to around May, and they fly back up north. And every year they come back to the same nest, and they make that nest bigger each year. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> And this is your cypress swamp, and all the tall trees you see is what they call a bald cypress. The reason why they call it a bald cypress, they do dry their leaves during the winter, they're not evergreen. And if you look there, you're right, all the little knots see sticking up all over the place, what they call a cypress knee. The cypress tree's rooting system. Since they grow out here in the water, they get their oxygen from the very top of the knee. And they also have a core. As tall as that tree goes up in the air, goes into the ground, what they call a taproot. That shoots out roots, that shoots out the knees. And the bald cypress is also the state tree. And all the gray stuff you see hanging around is what they call Spanish moss. In the olden days, it was used to stuff mattresses, pillows, was also used for sewing and surgical thread. Henry Ford even used it to stuff the seats of his first Model T, and also would mix it with clay mud put between laws and law cabin like for mortar. And they also call it Cajun toilet paper. <laughs> you know, it's place from the tree, not from the ground, because you don't know somebody else used it, just a little heads up in case you got to go while you're over here. You never know. You might thank me later. But it lives off the moisture and air. The humidity does not live off the tree. Pretty out here. Yes, sir. Pretty sunset. <laughs> Find him when he wasn't there. <laughs> Some fresh meat for you, Al. <laughs> this is a big Al. He's 13 feet long, probably weighing close to a thousand pounds, if not more. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> that thing is huge. <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Come on. He's so gentle. Yeah, he is. Not all alligators are that gentle. No, no. <laughs> but I've been playing with him for about 12 years now. Well. Come on, buddy. My big baby. Wow. See now how we ain't seen him in a hollow for him and his big boy come up? <laughs> what? Cajun your dog. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. Yeah. So awesome. Want to sit on his back, take a picture? <laughs> See if you can hold on a second skating bull ride. Come <laughs> on, buddy. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Like yesterday, I couldn't find that sucker to save my life yesterday. <laughs> they usually stay in the same spot? He has about three quarters of a mile square territory oh, okay. to take scale. Like last time, we was over. Yeah, he moves around. He'll go all the way. We just came from all that way. That's why I decided to turn the light on at the last minute. Yeah. Just in case he decided to go that way. Oh, let me grab it. So awesome. It's like, don't you just. He's just freaking huge. Last time was first time. I first time we've seen he just a minute ago. He's right. He's crazy. He is. He's acting just like a dog. I know. Oh, girlie. What about us? Alice. Alice right around the corner. But Kyle, backstrap off of a deer. He said, I'm like you're talking about skin meat and shit. Jaw meat's pretty good, too. And like the rest of the meat, like the leg meat, body meat, we'll grind that up, make sausage, make ground meat. Make you a gator burger? What? <laughs> That's why you start about talking about skinning him and cleaning him up. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. Come on, Al. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You hungry, huh? I got that some. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, like feeding a dolphin. <laughs> right. <laughs> Swamp dolphin. Can I get him back to Las Vegas? Come <laughs> on, oh, buddy. God, he's so freaking big. It's crazy. Biggest male on wreck is 19 foot 2 inches. That's almost as long as his boat is supposed 20 foot. And also, when they first come out, they come out eat little bugs, insects, frogs, but the birds, fish, nutra, raccoon, rabbit, deer and each other. They are cannibalistic, they will eat each other, especially during mating season. Wow. Another male, oh, shit. Another male go another male's territory, <laughs> they try to run them out, they can't run them out, they'll sometimes fight to okay. death. And guess mm -hmm. who's launched sure. after? Better grab it, Girlfriend. Did the girlfriend make a man get the tears? Hey, we'll bite you. Come on, girl. Hold that. I ain't stepping on your foot. Huh? Circle right around the neck, just like that. There you go. Take a picture. I'll get back so the bugs ain't in your face. Yeah, this thing's kissing at me. This is all that he bites the shit out of me. It's a female. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <here>. Somebody. Salkas <laughs> can't tell it. Sorry, y'all. I can't. I can't freaking. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> Usually I get my hand hold to it, I can hold on to it. Not that one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed a hold of one last night, two hand, and that sucker had my thumb almost bit back, bent back to my hand. <laughs> I had to let him go. Did it come out good? Yeah, it did. What's that noise? That's calling for mama. Look, she's right there! <laughs> <laughs> Right. Jump out, mama if you look here. real good when I touch by his eye, you seen that? Yeah, clear like membrane that goes oh, yeah. that goes sideways. It helps to see underwater, also protects his eye, and then got eyelid that goes up and down. That little slit right behind his eye, that's his ear. 
Now, if you look down his throat, you see how he can't see down his throat? You can, he can actually grab stuff underwater, come up on top, let the water drain off his tongue. That's his tongue attached to his bottom jaw. <coughs> <laughs> then I got, got a muscle oh that opens that flap. That's what keeps it from drowning. Oh, okay. okay, do the finger test to see if it's a boy or a girl. There you go. No! <laughs> but you, uh, you can hold alligator's mouth shut with just two fingers. It ain't got no power open, but tremendous power closes. Even a little booger like this could put some pain on you. Boy, you want to no, no, your belly no, button? I got it. 75 <laughs> holes, one shot, free of charge. <laughs> Hey, Pretty take a cool. picture of me and him. With him. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, girl? It's just dragonflies. They're so big, it's like a freaking eagle. Like an Get eagle. your phone. Go! <laughs> oh. <laughs>